Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and it is time for my manga haul video. So let's do it in this video. So this is pretty much I have buying a lot of these manga books between the month of June. Back in June, I well, how did it get? In August, but May and June as well. I wanted to do this video. I is because well I wanted to do this as well because this is gonna be a 15 plus volume manga haul video just to get yourselves catered right in for any of those who are watching the channel because I'm starting to do my manga haul video that's right I got like two stacks divided of my manga that I just recently got as well if you're all watching the channel as well because I wanted to do this some of the newer manga titles that I recently bought so without any further ado which is right here right now let's dive into this one here the first one here I got is the manga is Dash by Isaku Natsume which I wanted to get recently though as well, particularly. I mean, this has gotten to the reason about this as well, accordingly to the point as well. I mean, I wanted to do this video is that I have been buying a lot of manga from the... that these were donated to the library in the book nook area, where the ones that were originally used in that were part of the book sale I got all of these for like 25 cents each on there so that's basically almost like five dollars uh, for like four dollars for a manga like 25 cents each on there because I got 19 of those as well and the, another manga that I recently got is spell by Hyota Fujiyama, which I recently got as well, which I have as well, because I wanted to get more of these type uh, manga books on there, just to get something filling up my manga collection, just in case you're all wondering as well. And um, another manga that I just recently got is Lover's Flat by Hyota Fujiyama, which I have re right here as well. And that's basically, I have, some of them I have a lot are in English, but there's a couple in Japanese I have recently bought, though, as well, because they're 25 cents each, because it's still more cheaper or to get them as well, because I wanted to be a manga reader, that's why. And another manga in Japanese is Fire Punch, which I have, right, another Isaku Natsumi manga as well. And the last one in the Japanese I have right here is Tightrope from Isaku Natsumi, which I have right here as well, which I recently bought as well. And some there's some of the newer manga that I just wanted to get that I don't have, that you're all in for. And this first manga that I recently got is Bastard, which is the sci-fi, which is a... Heavy Metal Dark Fantasy Manga from manga artist Kaz what's his name? Uh, Kazushi Hagiwara. Yeah, Kazushi Hagiwara is the manga artist for Bastard. I wanted to get this manga that I don't have. I have seen the Bastard OVA anime on Kiss Anime on my phone back in 2018, but I never knew that it was actually based on a manga, but when I found the manga, I just wanted to get this one as well, because why not? Because I wanted to check out the manga, because I think this is one of the the, the influential manga f with a combinate with some RPG is on there included. Another other one, because the manga basically explains about um, the evil wizard with his diabolical generals swept across the land with his army of titanic iron golems when 
where there's all orcs, lizard, and men, lizard men, other monsters included in the bastard OVA on there. No, no, the oh, manga actually. I thought I said OVA, but the manga especially. The mighty wizard named Dark Schneider was sought to conquer the world for his darkest hour when a group of heroes wanted to step forward to stop those invaders. When the legendary Dragon King, who is named Geo no Oto Soto, who is the high priest of Metallicana, performing the impossible where they slew Dark Schneider and bound his soul when the man knows of how the secret how they wanted to bring him back to life. I highly rec if you haven't read the manga Bastard, I highly recommend you to check this out because it's another one met recommend for mature readers. And also, it's another one recommended for those who love older manga titles. I'm going to have a lot of those. I haven't got any newer ones, like Komi Can't Communicate or Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, yet. But I'll get them as soon as I can in the, at one point uh, in the nearest future. Bastard, classic manga. Check it out if you wanted to. And another manga that I just got is Dragon Ball Volume 9. I got another volume of Dragon Ball once again because this is the first time I wanted to get another Dragon Ball volume on here. Because this is part of Akira Toriyama's hit manga series that he's notable for. And this basically tells the story about Son Goku, who is the strongest boy who lives in the mountains, who met Bulma, who is the girl from the city, when he left home. When he wants to join Bulma's quest to find the magic Dragon Balls when they can grant any wish. Since Goku has been training under Kame Seinen, which the mighty martial artist wanted to conquer the world's greatest fighting tournament and fought the bad guys when he found them. When Goku seeks the seven Dragon Balls to in time, this time he wanted to make a wish for a friend when he gets all the Dragon Balls as there. Especially what the, the manga Dragon Ball is about. Yeah. I wanted to own this one on there because I can't get enough of m more manga titles because I need to get... That's why I got newer ones. That's why. And uh, another manga title that I don't have that I wanted to get, and that is Volume 10 of Dragon Ball Z. This is the newest one on, I recently got as well. Yeah, because this is created by Akira Toriyama, who brought you Kawa, Dr. Slump, many, and Sam Land, and Jocko the Galactic Patrol. There's a, many of the works of Akira Toriyama. I never knew that I found... Dragon Ball Z manga for the first time. Why not? Because I wanted to get this as well. Yeah, this is the Goku versus Frieza arc in the mo in the original manga on here. In case you're wondering as well. Yeah, I have been reading the the Dragon Ball Z manga before. What I think of it? Uh, I really enjoyed the manga. This has got me into getting more manga volumes of them for more whenever I can become more focused on reading the manga as well because I have another volume especially for that. What can I say? Because I got more volumes of them as well. And the next manga that I just got that I don't have and that is Shortcuts. This is the seventh volume of the, the Shortcuts manga. Yeah, because this manga also wanted to make me become an otaku, particularly whenever I come by on these kind of manga on there. Yeah. Wait, is this volume 7 or is it volume 1? I'm not sure. Huh. I looked at the spine and thought it says volume 7, but. Or is it volume 1? Oh, it's volume 1. No, I'm not mistakenly. It's actually volume 1 of. Uh, shortcuts. I don't have this one until now. Yeah, because this is created by mangaka artist Usamaru Furuya, who recently worked for 
other notable manga titles like his collected works like Pale Poly Garden Wasarmas 2001 Plastic Girl and Marino Marino Kanadaru Ono Goku yeah yeah this is the newer manga on there and yes this is the older manga title that I have here I mean if you don't know what the shortcuts manga is about I mean this is about how faction is if you want to check out this especially of how the fascinations with a, of a Japanese girl in the manga, of how the evolu the evolved creature of Japanese fra uh, Japan's fin uh, Adakali tr trendy consumer culture, the Kogal gal, what goes for inside a Kogal's under overstimulated mind? That's the question, especially for the manga like shortcuts. I need to get more volumes of shortcuts because there's. This is from Usamaru Furuya, that's why. And um, another shoujo manga that I don't have that I wanted to get for the first time I wanted to own, and that is Revolutionary Girl Utina, Volume 2. This is the first time I don't have Revolutionary Girl Utina. I was originally going to buy those hardcover edition ones, but when I saw this at the library and that was donated, I bought this for like 25 cents. If you don't know what Revolutionary Girl Lutina was, it's about this little girl rescued from the raging river by her prince when he banishes her tears when tells to grow up when she wanted to become a strong noble, sort of like Lady Oscar from The Rose of Versailles in its own certain, diff but more different beside The Rose of Versailles. When now Utina has followed the clues of how she left it by her prince for the exclusive o o Otori Academy, where she is forced to fight the duels for the power to revolutionize the world. When Utina has not understand these arcane rules and the goals of how it's left to her prince when she's willing to do anything when she wanted to become engaged with another girl. Huh. That is really how what the story is about for Revolutionary Girl Utina is about. Yeah, because I have wanted to check out this manga. I mean, this was this manga was also part of my recommendations just because I like the Rose of sign. When I saw this, this has gotten to be part of my manga recommendations. Despite that I love anything that is inspired by the Rose of Versailles. I think I like this along with the Rose of Versailles, in my opinion. Well, it's... I think this was after Rose of Versailles. Well, ironically, Revolutionary Girl Utina came out in the 90s as a manga as well. Yeah, this is done by manga artist Chiho Saito as well. Which Chiho Saito has been in working on this manga as well to fulfill as well, and yet I gotta say that Revolutionary Girl Utina is my favorite manga next to The Rose of Versailles, in my opinion, because I can't get enough of classics. That's why. And another manga that I don't have, that I just recently got, and that is Marionette Generation, Volume 3. This is the third volume of Marionette Generation's manga. Some of the, the designs on there is done by the... The manga was done by Haruhiku Mikimoto, who is, worked as a... who recently worked as a character designer for... The Macross section, the Super Dimension Fortress Macross series, but it's also part in the, of the Macross Saga section of, of the, the series Robotech 
and he also worked as a character designer in Gundam 0080 War in the Pocket, if I'm just to name a few. Yeah, this manga basically tells the story about Miki Moto's alter ego Izumi Morino is an illustrator who is living his controlling it with a, a junior high school age stepsister named Kinoko and Lunch, a doll who has suddenly became to life in this one. When she gets her first taste of what it, it's like to be human, when she takes over the body of a real life girl, when it goes on going on the first date, when they were kidnapped by an old enemy, when the fashion doll has returned in the form of an otaku. I mean, that's particularly of how Marionette Generations is about. Particularly, yeah. I mean, if, this manga introduced me to the older titles on there. Despite that this manga was published in Japan back in 1994, this is translated in English by Viz Media on there. Yeah, because this is the old edition on there, On as what I understand why. I mean, I just love the designs on there. I mean, I just admired the artwork on there. Oh, sorry, I almost dropped it. <laughs> I was going to show you that as well. My apologies that I dropped it, because I was going to show you the pages on there. Especially for the manga like Marionette Generations on here. I might plan on reading this someday at one point because I wanted to be a manga reader, that's why. And um, the Rumiko Takahashi manga that I just don't have that I wanted to get, and that is the first volume of Maison Ikoku, or Maison Ikoku. Yeah, in Italy it's called Caradoce Kyoko. Yeah, this is another Rumiko Takahashi manga that I don't have, that I finally get to own. And yes, this is the the first volume of Meizani Koku. Yeah, despite that, this is an older edition. Meizani Koku had lasted about, like, 14 volumes on there. Yeah, in case you're wondering, this basically how it's collected it on this manga as well. I mean, this the manga basically tells the story about uh, Godai, who is basically your t average ronin, who is basically wanting to get into college exam, of how he wants to get his credibility for his charisma on how he wanted to get into college for his exam to study when he has every right to study as well. But then when he has uh, re relations with the, the, the apartment floor manager named Kyoko Otanashi, who is the character in this manga on there. In my opinion, Maisonikoku or Mais yeah, Maisonikoku is my fa Maisonikoku is my favorite. Yeah, if I can pronounce it, if I correct me if I can pronounce the the, the title, Maisonikoku is basically my favorite, third favorite manga from Rumiko Takahashi on there. Because this is per getting to the thing is that I wanted to know of how I wanted to come by on a m manga like Maison Koku on there. Yeah, this was created by, yeah, this is like a serious romantic manga on here. Or if it's a romantic comedy or something, yeah. I haven't read the first volume, but... I might plan on reading this on here, because I need to get the rest of those. But, not to mention, Viz Media released Meizani Koku as these Viz Signature Edition ones that they put out more recently, though, in case you're wondering. Yeah, because, can't go wrong with Meizani Koku, because I love the classics as well. Yeah, because I'm starting to get, like, more manga titles from that are published under Rumiko Takahashi. There's another one I need. There's, like, Mao and Kyokai no Rine and Rumiko World Mermaid Forest as well. Because 
There is a bunch of titles from Rumiko Takahashi on there. Because can't get enough Rumiko Takahashi, huh? Highly re if you like I think I like this manga though. Because I really admired Rumiko Takahashi's art style in the Maisonic Hoku manga. That's why. Because I'm going to have a lot of older manga titles. That's why. And another manga that I don't have that I also got for the first time. And this is Silent Mobius Volume 10. I got another volume of this manga. Yeah, Silent Mobius basically tells is basically mixes with si sor science fiction with sorcery. Which how it takes place in the 21st century of the Lu Lucifer Hawks when it broke through the into the dimension and the human race when they indeed needed the new heroes meet the M A M P seven young men women with physical psychic magical and cybernetic powers who they might protect 2030 Tokyo from the monstrous and en entities from another world in this manga. Yeah, this basically how what Silent Mobius is about, particularly. I need to get more volumes of Silent Mobius on there, because I have never read this one until now, because I wanted to check out a manga like Silent Mobius on there. Yeah, in case you're wondering as well, because I wanted to come by for that. Which I'm showing Kate the pages on here as well. Yeah, because I love me some classic old manga, that's why. Yeah, this manga has bonus material that were never published on the original monthly comics. Which I didn't know it has since been published. That's why... I love reading some old manga, that's why. Another samurai manga that I don't have that I wanted to get, and this is... Vegabond, Volume 10. Vegabond is another samurai manga on there. I mean, if you like Akira Kurosawa movies on there, I highly recommend if you want to check out Vegabond. This manga is also part of my manga recommendations like Lone Wolf and Cub, Samurai Executioner, and Blade of the Immortal also. Because this introduced me to like samurai manga on there. Yeah, I also love the artwork in the manga, what Vegabond is. I betcha that Viz Big, Sig Viz Big Editions released these 3-in-1 volume editions on Vegabond manga on there. Yeah, because I will get them at some point, particularly, because I introduced to Vegabond and uh, another manga under Viz Kids on here, and this is Zoid's Chaotic Century Volume 13. I have seen, I think I remember seeing Zoid's Chaotic Century on Toonami when I was a kid back in the early 2000s on there. But I didn't know there was a manga like this, because this was a comic adaptation by Michihiro, Michiro Ueyama, which I didn't know that. Yeah, it's in, a th in its thin binding like this as well. Yeah, because I wanted to get this one as well. Because why not? Because I needed more manga, that's why. Another manga I have right here that I don't have, and this is the one that I have right here for the first time, and this is Gundam The Origin in Volume 5. Yeah, Volume yeah, volume 5 of Gundam The Origin. Yeah, this is the old edition of Gundam The Origin. If you've ever been a fan of Gundam, there is this manga of what you could expect for this. Because I never know about Gundam the Origin manga existed. Because I was originally going to get those new edition ones that, that you know, came out, but when I saw this, I had to buy it as well. Yeah, because this introduced me to the Gundam franchise on there. Because there's a lot of Gundam the Origin out there as well. Yeah, this is the old edition of that. But th thank God they got the new ones as well, because I got Gundam the Origin. And uh, another manga that I just got here, and this is Fushigi Yugi, The Mysterious Play, Volume 7. I got another volume of Fushigi Yugi, because why not? Because 
can't get enough Yu Watase's majority works because I love me some classics on there from Yu Watase on there. But I haven't read this one yet, but I will. It's, it's on my plan on reading when I get more volumes of them. Another manga that I just got is Dance Till Tomorrow, which is volume 6, which is from Naoki Yamamoto, another older manga title. Highly rec. Yeah, because I wanted to get this manga, though. This is one of the older manga title ones. Because I'm the how. Because I have a feeling that I have a lot of older manga titles. That's why. And the last one here I got is another manga from Rumiko Takahashi, and that is Rama One Half Volume Six. I got another volume of Rama One Half on here. But when I first got this manga, surprisingly, this came with a poster, which I didn't know. This manga came with a poster for free inside. If you open this up on there. I was going to show you on the poster. Yeah, there's an, a poster ad for this one. I didn't know this manga came with a poster. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah. I got to admit, though, that I got it in the nick of time, though, because this is the only manga I could find that came with a poster on there. One of these days, I'll hang it on the wall as well. Because I need to laminate some posters and hang it on the wall. Just to prove that this shows that I'm going to be an otaku as well. Because this pretty much I have all 19 volumes of manga I bought on the from this library as well. Some They're not former library copies. But these are the ones that somebody donated it as well. They're, they're 25 cents each on there, so that's basically, like, approximately, like, $4 or something? Yeah. So that basically got me going for to buy more manga as well. I wanted to know for the fact I have a lot of manga, though, as well. It's... This all makes sense that I got another manga title, like, from Rumiko Takahashi, and that's Mei Koku Volume 1, because I finally get to own Mei Koku Volume manga for the first time as well. I will get more titles from Rumiko Takahashi as soon as I, at the, in the future as well, along with other manga titles, because I have a lot of older manga titles, and this is the first time I wanted to get the dark fantasy manga, which is Bastard uh, I wanted to get, and as well as Naoki Yamamoto's manga, Dance Until Tomorrow, and Vegabond, another manga I have right here, because I'm going to have a lot of those. So that's going to be it for my video manga haul, 15 plus volume f video for today, guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this video. This is pretty much this how I got a lot of manga as well, because I had to get a lot of them as well. Just to fill up my manga collection as well. That's why. Hope to subscribe for content. My anime plan link in the description below. Share this video on Twitter, Facebook. If you have Twitter, Facebook account, and all the social media. If you want to check out my anime planet, the link will be in the description down below. If you want to check out my anime planet as well. Because I have a huge backlog of manga and anime. P Patreon link will be in the description down below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below on this video. Let me know. And also, be sure to smack the like button if you enjoy this video. Be sure to... Click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Full Ruroni K95. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you're new to my channel, especially smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates on here. And keep it otaku for this manga haul video because this is the first time I wanted to do my manga haul video. That's why, because that's why I have a lot of manga. This is Ruroni K95 saying, thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you liked it. I hope you enjoyed my manga haul video because I have over 50, 15 plus volumes. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Hope you have a great day. This is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos. Take care. Bye.